So welcome everyone, and I hope this is an easy how-to guide to access Kiringo Library's electronic library, or as we in library land like to call it, e-library. Um, as Robin's already said, I'm Cathy. I'm the librarian based at St Ives Library, and probably like a lot of you, very familiar with books in the print form, not a big user of e-library resources. So I'm learning lots while I've been preparing for this talk. So let's do this together while we explore the joys of BorrowBox. Uh, Libby and Beamer Films. We'll also probably look at Newsbank. I'll show you a few other different platforms if you wish, if we've got time. If I speak too fast, that's my worst thing. Please tell me to slow down. And as Robin said, feel free to ask questions. There'll be plenty of time at the end to ask if you need uh, more information. But if you want clarification or me to slow down, please ask um, or raise your hand. Um, Please understand that technology is new to some, new to many, and it changes constantly, it's improving, it's evolving. Don't feel daunted if you get lost or scared or worried about it. You can always just press the escape button, which is in the top left-hand corner of your keyboard, and just like Dorothy, you'll end up back at home and we can start again. It's a new thing for a lot of people, even though it's been around for a long time, um, but feel free to just pace yourself and know that from my experiences yesterday at the dress rehearsal, if anything's gonna go wrong, it will go wrong with technology, but there always seems to be the ability to regroup and come back. Okay, so let's try and I'll share my screen if I can. This is where I get lost. <laughs> Do you wanna? Yeah, it's, not letting me... green one. Yeah, it's not letting me share the screen, so. That's the Try it again. Okay. Take two. Uh, try it again. No. Just okay. Send so send through. Oh, sorry, we've got a few more people joining actually. Just one second. Okay, that's right. Is it working? No. Is it working? No. no. It's just coming up with it's sorry, disabled, it disabled participants. Okay. Uh, send me. Is it complicated? Okay. Send me the document. Okay. Yep. Yes, I have. Oh, sorry, Sam. Yes, Kathy is co-host. Um, all right. What we can do? Yep. Send me your document. Ah, oh, no, actually easier. Send it to Michelle. So, so it is it, it my screen that I was sending was the um the Karingo Library web page. Oh great, okay. I can I can do that then. Okay. Just open that up. Okay. Uh, my internet here is not brilliant, but we'll see how we go. So. It'll work. It's a bit slow. Maybe um, with a different idea. How about if you if you make me not a shared host, would that co-host would that allow me to you just let me share the screen? Could that work? So Michelle, are you Michelle? Will you be you, sorry, Michelle? Cairns. Cairns, yeah. Can I make you co-host if you have a better video? Um, yeah, let me see. I'll just open up a new window. Um, um, uh, have I got you as co-host? Here we go. Sorry, my, my internet's not great. That's not. Opening the library page and then I shall... Um, if you share. Share my screen. Yeah. Share. Done. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So can I then? So who operates the screen then? Uh, Michelle. Then that's the problem. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can you see my screen? I can. What can you see? Just the Karingo Library screen. Just the it only is going up to the banner. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oh, actually, that's nice. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. 
So you control it, Michelle? Yeah, and you okay. tell me where to go. <laughs> okay, so <let's> <laughs> okay, so let's start with view our e-library. So oh, this is the main page of the library. Yes. So I'm going to visit our e-library here. So you've got, and yeah. I'm going to click. Brilliant. And uh, I do have a slight problem in that uh, that means that my um, my view of other participants has disappeared. Okay. So are you able to um, stay? Hang on. Maybe I can do this. No. That's okay. Just if anybody puts their hand up, you might have to, rather than put your hand up, you might have to um, actually shout, <laughs> un unmute yourself and shout. Can you see if the you... speech bubble if they put it down the chat down the bottom? Or well, you can't see that either? I can see the chat. I just can't see this, this, everybody's faces on screen. Okay. So that's all right. We'll just do it that way. So if you have a question, just call out if that's all right, yes. or else just wait until Michelle says, Oh, sorry, until um, Kathy says um, you know. questions. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, yeah. Sorry. That's good. Off we go. Okay. Okay. Let's take two. Let's go. See, technology, not your best friend all the time, but when it works, it's brilliant. So let's go with that. Okay. So as you know, to be to, to access any of the platforms, which is the way of viewing the books, the audio books, the e-books, you have to be a member of the library. So if you're not a member, I'll just get Michelle to quickly click on the join the library, just so you're familiar with it. Okay, so you just fill out, it's a quite an involved, sorry, it's not, it's not involved, I'm just sort of uh, boxes to tick and fill in. Because we're in lockdown, normally you'd have to be in, um, in front of us to produce ID to get your library card. But we're going to allow people to sign up online. You'll get an, uh, an automatic uh, temporary membership that will be an email will be sent to us to let, let us know you've tried to join the library. We will then contact you to confirm all your details and then we'll post the card out to you so you can start using that card immediately. All we ask is that once the doors open, we'll probably just need to check your ID, but at least you can go ahead and access our um, e-library while we're still in lockdown. So we've just made a few changes to allow people to get the card online. So that makes it so much easier. And the turnaround for posting the cards is fairly quick, even though Australia Post said it can take a while. We're having members confirm they're getting a card within two to three days of signing up. So good for that. Okay, so let's go back to the library page and we will have a look at some of the platforms. So if we go down, we can have a look at eBooks. So you've got all the different green boxes that denote to, to, to which we're looking at. We've got eBooks, music, film, Story box is really good if you're looking after your um, grandkids. We can access that. You have to be, uh, again, a member, and it's great for story time. We've got newspapers, magazines, and we've got the HSE resources for students. So let's start with our ebooks. Okay, so we're going to look at Borrow Box first, which is a, quite a popular one with our patrons, and it's a great one to navigate. So I'll get Michelle to quickly click on that for us. Thanks, Michelle. So this is the sort of this is the home screen. So when you open it up, this is what you're going to see, and this is where let's get Michelle to sign in because we need to be signed in. We can see it. I might need to go get my library card number. Okay. <laughs> Are you alright if I just go to here and get my ID? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going <laughs> to log in, guys. <laughs> Important login. <laughs> <laughs> and if I go into my personal details that no, you're all going to see we're I'm not going to gonna... see anything that's all right. <laughs> we'll all just talk amongst ourselves for a few seconds so yes in that and going yes. back yes. in there yes. you go that's quite fun right. so yeah so we go back mm -hmm. to borrow box yep yeah. thank you and no thank you on. it's just yeah <laughs> we're very clever at being able to share and improvise prepared. here we go back yep. to borrow box I like that you're also patient yeah it is just great. <laughs> but again, it just reinforces the fact that this is technology and that it's often slow mm. because the volume of people accessing the internet and working from home, shopping, all that is slowing the internet down. And also that we just have to be patient and we're, we're stumbling occasionally. But if you get to the end result, it's worth it in the end because you get to read a book or a magazine or watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's just taking its time Kathy. loading for me. Sorry, Beverly might have a question. Yes, yes. Yeah. Kathy, just two things. Yes. Um, Barbara, who's with me in lockdown, 
is um, she's got hearing aid, best hearing aids, but she doesn't still hear very well. So when you're doing the presentations about the bits, uh, the relevant bits, if you could slow your speech down. I will. And also, we've only got iPhones, so we're, we can't see what's on the screen on an iPhone. Ah, okay. The print's too small. I don't think there's any way to change the size. Yeah. No. Now, can I, uh, um, do you, um, we can change sometimes, but it, I don't know about the actual web. There you go. You go again. Up up. You go. Can you do one more? Mm -hmm. Yep. Up and up. It's made it a bit bigger. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to get Michelle to sign on. Sign in, sorry. Okay, so we've just noticed you've got you put a PIN or a password. So a lot of people don't use their PIN or password um, for accessing the library when you in the physical sense. But being online, we've got to use the password or PIN number. If you've forgotten either of them, you can ring any of the branches and we can actually send an email um, to you to let you reset your password. We can't unfortunately update your details in branch because we can't um, physically see your password, but we've got the facility to send an email and then the email is a step-by-step -step guide how to reset your password and then you can go and access all the, the platforms. A question from yes. Franco. Uh, just um, uh, if I have a library card, Yes. And, but I don't remember having a pin. So it would be like having forgotten your pin the first exactly. time. Exactly. Okay, yes. Right. You can either go, you can go to the catalogue and change the pin number yourself, or you can ring a branch and they will send an email out to you. There's both places you can do it. Often just for to help, a lot of times when people were signing up for membership, we suggested because you don't use the pin very often to make it the last four digits of your membership number. So that's often a really good thing to try. If you do get stuck and it's not letting you log in, try the num the last four digits of your membership number, which would be 2918 for Michelle, and hopefully that would get you in. If not, give us a call at any of the four branches. Staff are really happy to talk you through any of the and assist you for uh, uh, accessing the e-library. Okay, so we're going to sign in. Thanks, <laughs> Michelle. I have to share that my pin's not that. It's something different. Yeah. <laughs> I think we just made it easy, especially for young children as well, because uh, it's something that they probably mightn't use the pin either. But when they need to use the pin, we can always just throw back. It's probably the last four digits. OK, so here's our um, home page for Borrow Box on, through the Karingai Library. We've got up the top, we've got e-books or e-audio books. So it's depending on what you want. Down the bottom, we've also, on the next line, you've got My Loans, which will list what you've got. Of course, I've got a list of my reading lists. You can keep a, a, up to date with what you've got. Uh, discovery is to search, I do believe, Michelle, isn't it? That was one thing I was playing with. So we can click on discovery. Was that already done? Do you want to scroll down and we'll have a look at what? Okay. Okay, so here we have the different books that are on. This is just a few to tempt you. So I've got from page to screen, which is very popular. A lot of people enjoy reading books that have been made into movies. A lot of people find out that movies were based on books through um, checking this out. I think you can go up the top too, Michelle, sorry, just to see where you can actually search through, to search through genre or author. So there was a space somewhere, okay. Maybe not. Okay, keep going. So I'll just highlight for you. Oh, sorry, do you want to just yeah, scroll down a little bit? You've got see all. It's being hid behind our photos, but there is an arrow that says see all. If you can see it down the bottom, that expands more titles. Okay, so if, just if you want to notice too, while Michelle is <coughs> scrolling, I just want to slow it down a little bit, Michelle. Underneath the book, you've got the title of the book, my list, reserve, um, got the author. But if you look below, it's got on loan. 
and have not and then the available date. Now a lot of these have obviously been borrowed out because we're in lockdown. You can reserve the book and you'll be asked you'll be receiving an email once the book is available to you for downloading. Unfortunately some of them do have a very long um, time before you can read them but it's, it does have the ability to reserve so you just click on reserve it's telling you that the loan period is 28 days and you just confirm reserve and then that just goes sits on your shelf oh sorry it, it just sits in behind the scenes and as soon as the person the last person to have it returns the book it'll go come to you via an email notice and then you can go back into borrow box see it's available and then you download it and you read it's for 28 days. At the end of that 28 days, you can renew the book. If someone else, unfortunately, has placed a reservation on it while you're reading it, you can't renew the book and it will automatically fall off your shelf. It'll just disappear and go to the next person that's booked it. So just be aware that you try and stick to the 28 days. So we actually had a lady that um, rang and she didn't understand what happened to her book and she had a chapter to go. And unfortunately, we she had to re-reserve the book to read the last chapter, which was very sad. So just be aware of that. So we've got, again, like we said with Michelle, we've got scrolling down, we've got different uh, titles, different genres, different themes, different authors. There's a whole lot you can choose um, and enjoy. So, a question from Franco again. I was so. Does that mean that the, the the library only has one copy of any item? Some we have a cop a couple, but it's to do with the um with the, the copy. It, it's a for the protect, and it's also to protect the patron. So the the author that, that you they can't um let us access a lots multitude of books. It's the same as like shit. Yeah. A similar form of copyright, but there's mm -hmm. some titles we've got a few copies of, some we've only got the one, yes. So and unfortunately, words, it's really similar to borrowing physically it, the, it is, the, yes. the, so the we, item. You know. Yes, so we've only got a couple. Some books we only have one copy of, exactly. Some we have four, okay. but it's very it's very frustrating for people when we've, we're only limited to how many. We are increasing the number of um, books we've got, and we are asking for um, additional copies okay. because while in lockdown, I know that the our collections librarian, and head of technology, they're investigating the ability of us getting more copies of very popular books, especially as there's a Thank lockdown you. is continuing. It's, it's that's our frustrating thing is that we're our hands are tied in regard to the parameters of these e, um, e resources. So yes, whereas if it was a a, a print, a hard copy, and we realised it was um, popular, we could then easily order more print copies. That's what we can do. But technology again, um, our hands are tied slightly. So. So that's a bit about BorrowBox. We can show the difference between ebooks and um, audio books if you'd like to have a, if you're happy to do that, Michelle, for me. Thank you. Okay, so here we've got um, all ages. So you can actually click on age groups. So if you're, again, if you're um, looking after grandchildren, you can click on children's book. You do adult or just do all um, ages. You've got genres. If you're um, you just into crime, um, which we know is um, a very popular genre by our, by our patrons, you've also got Australian fiction, romance, uh, New Zealand fiction is popular, lifestyle. Um, so there's a lot you can choose as your theme and stick to that, or you can just be um, just explore all the different books that are on offer. So a lot of great Australian authors are coming out at the moment. So and I know from a lot of the phone calls we're receiving in Branch that many of our patrons are asking for Australian authors. So that's really great to hear. Um, and so this offers you the same, that there's a, quite a number of books you can choose through the BorrowBox app. So you decide what, what works best for you if you have, a, as in my mum, she just loves to read two particular authors. My dad is obsessed with Stephen King, so they would be glued to that. But other people just love a, a cross-section of different um, authors or different genres, non-fiction, fiction. It's great that the fact that you can just narrow it down to what you like. Okay, so that's eBooks. Do you want to go on to audiobooks, Michelle? You can have a look at. So that's just giving the, um, you the ability to borrow an audiobook if that's what you enjoy, which a lot of people do. That's an increase in... Um, Popularity is the audiobooks at the moment. 
but that's another way of searching as well. So again, you can do your authors, your genres, stuff. So that's just showing you what it looks like when you go in. Um, once you've logged in, how to access so how to access and see what we've got available for you. So that's Spiral Box. So any questions or want something more expanded or more information on? Tracy, this is Anita. Can I ask a question? Yes. I, I usually go into Borrow Box on my iPad. Yes. And the view is entirely different from what you're presenting here today. Which I was going to add, probably at the end show everyone how to download the apps. I think this was just at the beginning to show people if they wanted to, the first time they actually um, viewed the e-library. So, yes, but most people do access through the um, handheld devices. No, so, what, what I'm saying is on the computer it's an entirely different look. That home page is an entirely different look than you have on the iPad, which I'm very surprised about. I think it's because it's just the different features that they've got for a computer where you can actually download all of the books you want. When you want to physically um, view them, if you're doing it through your iPad, that's where you'd be reading the books through your handheld device. But I yes. think it's because one is an app and the display of the, the screen has to be different to right. a I believe that's what it is. If anyone wants to correct me, this, like I said, this is a new area for me, but I know having done a little bit of the web pages at um, uni, the way you construct them and display them is different on a uh, through an app as it is on a web page. Well, I think, but, it's I, but I agree. If you're using the two, you would like them to be similar. Mm -hmm. um, that would be great if we could do that. But I think it's just the way that we display them on our web page, um, mm -hmm. going through the actual website of BorrowBox and showing what it is when you view is slightly different as well. So yeah. I'm probably using the different ones to 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 um, explore. And one to yeah. read, but yeah, good point, and thank you for raising that, Anita. I do thank appreciate you. it. So yeah, thank you. It's, it's Franco again. I can't understand what's the difference between borrow box and ebooks. Ebooks are the so borrow box is what's called the platform or the web page that allows you to access it. Ebooks is the physical or the virtual way. So borrow box is the the company that allows you to access the ebooks. Right. Uh, so okay. we call it a platform, which is the the. The jargon that they use, but it's virtually BorrowBox supplies the avenue for you to access that book to read. So, so I suppose you could say yes yeah, that a BorrowBox is the Woolworths that you go to buy a loaf of bread. And there are a number of others, is that right, Kathy? Yes, there are other 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 platforms. Yeah. Yes, so we've got other platforms you can use. We just thought we would show you. That's I'll get sure to go back. So BorrowBox, like I said, is a very popular one. I'm not saying that's the one that every that you might use but it's a very popular one and we thought we'd just show you that to begin with but we have quite a number of different platforms we've got cloud library um, but cloud library only allows you to have the book for 21 days as opposed to borrow box allows you to have the book for 28 days uh, another one is called indie reads which we use through the state library of, of new south wales and indie reads is just another way of getting the the independent australian publishers so they're not your mainstream but again it's 21 days for the book so I think borrow box is popular because of the four week loan period as opposed to the three week but it's you you just have to play around when you go into the website to see what's comfortable what what sort of website you like what offers the books you like you might find cloud library has a lot of books for the subject you like or the author you like and so you might be hooked on cloud library. You might like um, having a little bit reading not mainstream authors. Indie Reads would be ideal for you. So Indie Reads is, and cloud library, they all offer the different age groups. It's just the different books and magazines that are on offer through the individual apps. So we've also got Libby, which is another one. So this offers the magazines, and again, sign in with your card, um, and it lets you have a look at all the different magazines we've got. And I do believe, I think Libby is 21 days as well. So it's just, it's said, it's just we're just trying to highlight as many of the different um, platforms that, that allows you access to all the different magazines, audio books, 
electronic books, films, newspapers that you can access while we're in lockdown. Even when we come out of lockdown, some people are very happy to read um, through a tablet or their iPhone. Uh, if they're, um, that's, a, that's a question. Sorry, it's Robin. Um, um, you need, do you need to download a different app for each of these? You, you do. Yes, thank you. Thanks for that, um, Robin. Yes, each one um, requires a different app. So for people that are using their, um, their phones or their iPads, it just go to the um, app store. I've got a, uh, I think I can share it with Robin, with Michelle to show you um, uh, just a step-by-step. -step. Or we were happy to email a step-by-step -step guide how to download from the app store if that makes it easier for people uh, to navigate. But each, each of the e-books, um, e-audio books, the films, all that have an individual app that you must have on your phone. And most of them are fairly easy, okay, is, easy to download. And it's just, um, like I said, go through the, the app store. So, yeah. Sorry, Robin. No, there's a question from uh, Anne. So it says, do you need to return or do, do they return automatically for the magazines as well? They all return automatically. Yeah. As we said, well, they just seem to just disappear. Well, the, again, I'm sorry for the jargon, but they just call it dropping off your shelf because when you borrow it, it goes on what's called a shelf. And they'll often refer to your book sitting on the shelf. And at the end of the time period, whether it's the 28 days or the 21 days, it just disappears. Excuse me. If I could ask a, a question that's relevant to that, please. Yes. Um, I have borrow box on uh, my facility, but it was downloaded in Queensland. Will that still work here? I can't see why not because you're using the app and it's a um, it's a. I'd say yes. Okay. I'm happy to follow that. I'm happy to follow that, but I would say yes. Would you agree, Michelle? Absolutely. All you need to do is sign in as Karingai Library. Yes. And um, pop your pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Borrow Thank ID you. and your pin, and you'll be able yep. to access us. Well, between just the in, two. <laughs> in addition, thanks, Michelle. In addition to signing in, I just wanted to um just say too that uh, when you sign in at us, often we'll ask for your library first, which library are you using? Because you're going through our library to get to the, the platform. Make sure you put in KU hyphen. A lot of patrons forget to put it, they just forget to put the dash or the hyphen and it won't come up. You won't see the library. You, if you type in KU dash, it's predictive and it'll automatically pop up Karingai. Click on that and then it will ask you for your library card. It's just that's a, a quite a common thing that it took us a, a few of us when we first started doing it to remember to remind um, both staff and patrons just to put that you know, all important dash in in both. There's two places it needs to go. And if you put that in, you'll be fine. So that's just a key thing as well. Okay, so that's that's for the ebooks and e-magazines and the audiobooks. We can have a look at films if people are interested in films, if there's no more questions about books. Sorry, we can jump straight into just to show you that there's different um, ways of viewing films as well. So is we've there got, a cost? Is there a cost for any of these? No, not at all. We're going through our library. So Kringai Library is like we've done the um, we've done the payment. I think it's the right word, or we've we've bought the rights, whatever we want to, whatever the word we want to use. I'm sorry. Um, we're providing the facility for you to access it. So you don't pay anything. You just have to go through. It'll just ask you to acknowledge which library you're going through, and that's how you access it. But no costs are incurred at all. No. Could I ask a question? Sure. It's Heather. Hi, Heather. Um, do you have to uh, to join a borrow box as well as everything else? You, you've got to, to join that app. To yes. So, so you you're you're a member of Kringai Library. If you yep. want to read books through borrow box, you have to download the app. So you go to the app store, you download the app, and you're uh -huh. using the app as like a doorway into borrow box to get that book. But you. Download it through Karingai? Or? No, you download it through the App Store. It'll right. ask you to, you, just a normal, whenever you search for apps on the App Store, it'll just ask you, you search, um, you press get, um, if that's the word next to it, you click on get and then it will download and then it'll ask you to accept the terms and conditions. Once you do that, I think down the bottom, you think, yep, App Store. 
Google oh. Play, depending on what device you're using. Yeah. So, well, yeah, so you're going to just hit the accept the terms and conditions and then it'll ask for which library you're going through, library card, and then it lets you search what you want to borrow and read. Okay. It's, it's Thank you. It's Frank uh, echoing that question, but if, what if you access through your PC or laptop? You don't need to download the app, obviously. You go to the, to, to the internet. I, don't, I think it, it's certain... Um, platforms that you do it through adobe you have to have adobe downloaded but as far as i know these are more for the handheld devices okay correct me if i'm wrong michelle but as far as i know i thought they were to for handheld devices because i think because when i was playing around with it today on my pc it told me i had to access it through an app and the pc mm -hmm. i have max you can use the apps is it, Frank, how you're asking whether you can read the books on your own um, computer? Yeah, right? on, on, on your PC yeah. uh, or laptop uh, or something. Yes, yes, you can. You can. Um, what it'll do, I think it'll ask you to download um, Adobe. Adobe, yeah. So if, if yeah, ah, and if okay, you've got Adobe, that, okay. you'll be able yeah. to open it up. So yes. that should be yeah. all right. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was the case, but yeah, now that they've put, uh, yes. they prefer it with the handheld Th devices, thank you. Thank, you. thank you. Adobe. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Thank okay, so. So could I ask one more question? Sure. with regard to that as well um if you use um um oh borrow box uh well any of those yes uh, and you use a, a tablet would i have to download it on the tablet as well as on the pc yes on to both, on yes, both. Yes. so you're wanting to read it on both yeah. Or have the choice of reading it. So, yes, to, to yes. access it on the PC, as Michelle said, you'd have to download Adobe, which is a way of reading, um, allowing you to access and read the book. But on a device, a handheld device like a tablet yep. uh, or your phone, you have to have the app on your device. The same thing, to download it through that um, app for you to access it. Okay, thank you. And just a point, you can't use a Kindle to access these platforms. That's just um, the way it works. Unfortunately, I do believe you can use the Amazon Fire. I think that's what it's called. We can use Kindle that. Is that Fire. correct? Kindle Fire. Kindle, sorry, Kindle. Kindle Fire. Sorry, yeah, Kindle Fire. Sorry, thank you, Michelle. But um, the, the anyone's prior to that, no, you can't use the Kindles. It's more like the iPads, tablets, phones, that sort of thing is what you can use it for. Oh, thank you. Okay, so that's we'll have to. We'll have a quick can I just ask something about BorrowBox and whether it's uh, user-friendly for book clubs? I know you've only got a certain amount of publications available. So if you have you, six you, people in a book club and we're all reading the same book, we can't access, access it through BorrowBox, can we? Not all six, no. That's where yeah, I do yeah. reads, yeah. Catherine. That's yeah. the one that, yeah. That is Indie Reads, the one that has the <coughs> unlimited. Indie, what yeah. was it? Indie. Indie. Mm, oh. All right, thank you. Yeah. Which so are available some... now. So if you go to Indie Reads and um, you have a look, you've got available now on the screen. And so they're simultaneous loans. So anyone can borrow at any time. And what, so what does it look like on the screen? It's a bit hard to see. So what? what's the, um, you know, this one? If, can you see a book? What did one look like on the screen? Oh, a book. Sorry, if, are they all unlimited or is it just some? No, no, just the ones that say available now. So there's a option for available now. And so every book within this line here that I am now yeah. is available. So I can just click on it and I can borrow straight away. Yeah. Okay. How do you, excuse me. How do you spell indie reads? Because we can't see the screen. So, uh, so uh, I N D Y R E A D S, yes. and it's one word. Oh, one word. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for that. Any more questions? Okay. So, will we have a, a look at the films? Films and canopy films. 
So this is just the different films if people enjoy watching DVDs, movies. This is just another a way of accessing films. So we've got Boomer films and Canopy films. So we'll jump on Canopy. Okay. So Michelle's already logged in up the top. Again, it would be using your library card number and your PIN or password. And that just lists again, I think you allowed four. Is it four? Oh, one the, month. Four, yes. Yep. So um, now the only thing I didn't investigate, and I apologize for this, is how long you can have the movies for. Do you, could you know, Michelle, that's the only thing I didn't investigate was, I do apologise, was how long you can have the movies for. So you can watch them. Yep. And if you've watched it halfway through, you can go back later. It doesn't drop off. I think it's until you've finished it. And then, yeah, it's available through them for play credits. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that. So again, it's just another, <clears throat> another platform we have for accessing resources through the e-library. There's a whole lot of different genres, different themes, um, modern ones, uh, ones that were done a while ago, classics, Sorry. Australian Harrison ones. Wait was good. Sorry? Harrison Wait was good. I like Lantana. Yeah. And if you like a bit of mystery, romance, interest, Lantana is very good. So there's quite a lot. It's very, very good. It's very, um, and I think a few people are discovering this the movies so it's really good because we have quite a few uh patrons here at St Ives that enjoy um DVDs and because they can't borrow them while we were in lockdown they have been accessing uh Canopy and Beamer films and are very grateful so that's great so again Michelle's just showing you how to browse if you've got different themes but also just to the right of that you've got Canopy for kids so you've got a choice of going straight to have Canopy um, has lots of resources for children. And then it just tells you to exit Canopy if you want to go back to um, film spot. Oh, and I know adults. for you, Kathy, that the kids' Canopy is um, un not lim unlimited. It's right, it's unlimited. So there's no cap on the numbers. Which is great, especially with holidays coming up. So there you go. So mm -hmm. the children stuck at home. So that's mm -hmm. a great one. So, and Beamer Films, we can just show you what it looks like just to be the same sort of thing. So, and again, unlimited this one. Yes. It's just, again, like we're saying, it's just the fact that we're just showing that there's such a lot of um, resources you can access while you're in lockdown or even if you just um, are at home. Um, when, when we do go back to whatever normal is, you've got such an array and an assortment of books, audio, magazines, films. It's great. So see, a few of them are repeated on, we've got Michelle Watch Paris Can Wait. So you had it on both FEMA Film and Canopy. Others are particular for the different site. I think it depends on the popularity of them. But again, it's a, it's a spot for choice by the, the volume of what you've got. So, so that's good. And again, FEMA film searching through different subjects, categories, themes. It's got TV series subjects. You can control and search the search capabilities of this um, particular web page. Can I okay. ask, please? Sure. Could you please click on TV series just to show us what's there? Thank you. Mm. Can't see it. There's quite a variety. Yeah, thank you. And the content is the um, Quite good in Australian as well. A lot of Australian content in there, which is very good. Yes, good to promote local people. Okay, so we can go back to the e library. So we've covered pretty much the um, books, audio, magazines, and film. We've also got newspapers. So we've got Newsbank. Actually, we can quick, quick click on Newsbank. Good. And this just gives you um, access to a lot of newspapers around Australia. You can actually search. I was playing around and searching some paper in Woolgoolga. So you can 
depending on where you've grown up, um, where you might have lived previously, there's a whole lot you can actually search um, for different newspapers. So hot topics, special reports, you've got the Sydney Morning Collection. You can go back quite a bit. It has some in archives. So if you were doing some research or family histories or um, just wanting to go back on an article you thought you read a few months ago, it does lead access archives as well. So that's a great way. Um, some I will just do a disclaimer that sometimes this one can be a little bit, um, I don't know, a bit precious and that it can crash a few times. So I also want to say too, for any of the sites, if there's, there's a lag, a time delay, you're struggling to access it, give us a quick call at any of the branches because sometimes it's the problem for the web page. It's not that you've got poor internet or you've done something wrong. There could be problems with the actual website itself. And we'll often send out a note on our webpage. Uh, we did this once with News, uh, Newsbank, I think about six months ago. We had no access to it for about a week. They had a, a problem. So just never think it's your, the problem is with you. If there's any query you have, jump on the phone straight away at any time. Because also if we don't, if we're not aware of it, if none of our patrons have let us know that there's a problem with Box or Newsbank, it's a way for us to double check and then we'll let you know and then put a, something on the web page straight away that there might be a, a hindrance or a problem. So you can also see that they're international newspapers as well. So this is a great um, resource. And I think that we've really, we did a big promotion with it through the e-news, mm -hmm. um, I think about maybe six or eight months ago. And, as a, and a lot of our patrons were very grateful for that, that they weren't aware of it. and so. Um, it was great for them to be able to access it. It's great for us to showcase what we've got um, and having being able to connect you with papers from around the world, papers from interstate or just papers locally. So that's a great a resource. So, so any questions with Newsbank? Newsbank. Sorry, can you show me again how you get to it in the first place? Sorry. So we go back to our e-library page, which is our uh, front page of the web page, and you've just got newspapers, magazines, and information done. Ah, okay. Click on yeah. that, okay, and yeah. you just see it's, it's highlighted, so yes. Thank, thank you, Cathy. No, you. that's fine. I'll also show you, too, when we're sure. It's all right, sorry. We want to go back to that page. You go down the bottom where it's just below online, HSC, Resources. There's a little green thing that says our view our e-library flyer. If you click on that, if you get stuck or confused, it should let you open it and view. This is just a little flyer with just a few little handy hints. So if you ever get stuck or get confused and you just want a quick answer, jump on this flyer. If you don't get the answers to there, pick up the phone and ring us in branch. We're really happy to talk you through. Um, any of the problems you have. And again, sometimes we don't know there's a problem there till one of our patrons phones us and then we can contact Borrowbox, Cloud Library, Libby, Newsbank, whoever it is, that there is an issue um, and we need it fixed and can give us a timeline. So then we can let you know it's going to be out of, um, out of order. It's not going to be accessible for a day, a week or whatever it is. So at least we're all on the same page and know what's going on. So, yeah, so... That's our e-library in a nutshell. Um, Storybox is great if you wanted to show them just what Storybox looks like if you are minding your grandkids. This is great. This is where um, celebrities read books to the kids. Again, you need to have your library card sign in, but it's just, it's really great. And I know from the interviews for the people reading the books, they had such fun when they were asked to read these books. So what, what was that one called? That's called Storybox Library. Yeah, we okay. actually promoted that a lot during um, lockdown and we've also like uh, used it for, uh, I know a lot of schools were getting their um, students to sign up while we were in lockdown. We had quite a number of students that needed to sign up so they could access Storybox as part of their online learning at home. So whilst they were in lockdown at home and doing homeschool, teachers were asking their students if, to, if they were members of the library to log in and then they could have a shared book um, or the kids had books to read that they could as part of their um, 
daily requirement of reading books they could choose from the story box library and my daughter actually is a teacher and she said this was a great resource for her students because they couldn't get to the library to borrow books for, that they would take to school for quiet reading they could do their quiet reading at home through story box and so they have sorry they, this is unlimited access so that a number of children can read the I, same one i think they work. can access the the, the um, books being read from right michelle the books being read by the person they could just multiple yeah, people can watch yeah. it yes so it's story yeah. time basically yeah. online yeah Lots of so things. i think it was just the teachers were using it as a creative way of getting the students to to read um, and be involved in the reading process it was a um a way of encouraging them to to get involved in reading instead of just when they're at home home being homeschooled um they were doing that and then they had to sign a or, or acknowledge to their teacher what book they either read themselves or read through story box with the guest um, storyteller and like i said my daughter is a teacher she just said that she had people that are very lazy or reluctant readers were doing two or three books on story box because they were being they enjoyed the person reading the book I mean, we find that as Michelle will um, agree, having been involved with children's library services, there's nothing more enjoyable than doing story time with the children. So this is just a, a, a virtual way of doing it. And so you could sit down with the, your grandkids and have someone read a book and be entertained while you're watching this person read it. It's a, it, it's a very fun way of encouraging kids to read more. And another way, so it's another platform um, of just offering people access to books whether it be listening to someone read reading yourself watching a movie this is what we're all for just to help you while you're in lockdown and it's available in Aslan yes well. done so any questions I think we've covered quite a number of things I don't want to inundate you and bamboozle you but like I said at the beginning if you get stuck come undone if that, it's just not going to plan, which if technology can be temperamental like that, please call us that, that this is what we want to do. It's, um, and often when we help you uh, do all of this, get to the access it, we learn things as well. And that's what I said at the beginning, I'm a print girl, have been from day dot. And I learned so much in the last week through um, looking at this, preparing for this presentation, and just asking the questions from different people that use the library, how easy it is to access. Um, we're not telling you that it's um, it's going to take place of print books if that's what you like. It's giving you options and choices, especially during lockdown. But also, just while we're on that screen too, Michelle, if you want to let them see, then sign up for our newsletter, our e news. If you're not already subscribed to our e news, it's really good. Further up, go back up to where you were. And it's just above, uh, keep going, keep going. See, just above the ebooks one. If you, e news is really um, good for getting information out. It comes out once a month, normally at the beginning of the month. And it just helps to let everyone know what's going on in our library. It's great for people that are interested in um, local history, where our local history library always puts this great blurb up with pictures from the past. Children's Library advertises their events. This event was, um, I think, advertised on it as well. It's all gives us opportunities to get information out there. So I strongly recommend that as a really good uh, point of being keeping up to date and informed about what's going on in our library. I've so, just borrowed a knitting magazine. Thank you, by Libby. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's quick. I was wondering. Um, are these services available through all local government areas in our state? Different um, apps, other different web, for, through different um, libraries? Yes, like the, libraries. the Borrow Box and the um, Cloud I'm not, Library. I'm not sure in. how many, um, like what we have, if they're um, the same for every other library, but I know Borrow Box is very popular throughout many libraries. Indie Reads, because Indie Reads is accessed through the State Library. Um, so a lot of them you'll find, yes, are accessible through other libraries as well. The, and so the, does the book, the, if if we live in Karigai yes. and, the, and the, um, the, you borrow a book, does that come from a particular library 
in Karingai that is your library or, or uh, uh, do they all operate as a cluster? It's, well, it comes from Borobox website. It's allowing you to access it electronically. So it's not physically coming from any of the, the it's libraries. It's not coming from no, Dives, Gordon, no, Tumbara. no, not at all. No, it's coming from the accessing it through the Borobox website or through the app. And oh. it's allowing you to do it that way. And it doesn't matter if you're on holidays in um, the Central Coast and you're a member of Karingai, you can access it anywhere that you want to by going, all you're doing is saying you're a member of Karingai. And that's because we we pay for the right to have BioBox accessible to our patrons. So all you're doing is like going through our library, then you use your library card, your password or PIN, and that's through, and then you can access it anywhere you are, regardless of um, state or town. And so a friend of mine's just finished a book. Yes. Um, to Stegel. Uh, I don't know if you've got any of Susan Stegel's books there in the library. Um, her books are, uh, are uh, boxed at the moment. She can't do a book launch. Um, oh, no. <laughs> and so um, uh, so if we wanted to get a book um, like that, as, uh, if we wanted you to get uh, that book, could you get it? A physical book? A, yeah, uh, no, as a, an e-book. I'm sure we can ask our um, collections librarian to investigate right. um, having that as part of our collection. It's the same as when we want someone wants a book ordered for the library itself in the physical form. We have the ability to put a request into our collections team. So there'd be no reason why we couldn't submit um, the request. I can't what guarantee... About what, what about the author of those books? What do they get financially? That, I'm, not, I'm not sure how that works. That's why it's mm. limited to the number we can have so that um, it's mm. not like that they're going to lose um, royalties or anything like that. So I don't know how that side of it works. Um, I'm not sure if Michelle knows more information, but it's, I... I yeah, there's different publisher agreements for each um, publishing or, house. Yeah. Yeah, so some some agreements we I don't know the back end of the agreements, but most of the books that we have, it's um one book. We buy one book, like you would a physical book. And so you know one person can only borrow it at a time and the author will obviously get the royalties from that, but I don't know what the back end is. Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. No, oh, that sounds have we everyone discovered everything they need do you think <laughs> it's a lot it is a lot to take in and but i think like i said at the beginning it's it's best to play the beauty of technology is you can play you can press buttons you can move here you can click on links you can do a lot of investigative and play but you you it, you can't make any mistakes aha uh -huh. It's, it's very hard to get. Yes, it's going to, it's going to, you'll have boxes pop up. Are you sure? Do you want this? Um, and if you do get a box that pops up and you don't even know what it means, that's the time then you would pick up the phone and you would give us a quick call. Because the, with technology, it is, it's a, a lot of people learn through pressing buttons, jumping on links, following directions, um, exploring things. It's a fun way to learn. Um, but like I said, if you're going to do something that delete something or go somewhere that you didn't want to go, you'll always get a pop-up box saying, are you sure? And if you're not sure, don't click anything, ring us. And if in doubt, like I said, press escape and it normally will take escape or the back button will take you back to the um, home page and you can begin again. Oh, that's a good thing to know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kathy, once we're open, people can pop into the library and speak to one of us in person. Yes, we actually yeah, when we were bring open, your device yes, with you. That's it. Yes, we actually had a lady that came in and she was stumped, and there was a few things that we had to overcome. Uh, it was just the, um, her situation, but she was in branched for half an hour, and we were fine with working with her. And then at the end of that half an hour, she left with three apps on her device. Um, she was an avid reader. She loved magazines and also enjoyed watching movies. She had the three and she rang us a week later and she was smooth sailing. She agreed that sometimes it was slow to upload. Sometimes it was, there was a lag that she would come, uh, leave the 
at, and then come back in. But she said she was accessing all the three. So th there will always be the odd hiccup. That's just normal with technology. Look at this morning. We just had a few incidents ourselves. Yesterday, my camera didn't work when I was having a, a dress rehearsal with my marketing team. Um, I rang IT. They didn't know what it was. Was that they just called it a glitch in the system? It, but the thing, tech, technology is powerful, and it is brilliant when it plays um, by the rules. But it's just like life; it's not going to always work perfectly. So we let it go, sit back, and then re-enter the website or the app half an hour later, and it then probably works fine. And also remember too that this is a time when most people are on the um, their computers. They're searching for information. They're doing Zoom meetings. They're working from home. They're buying things, whether it's just grocery shopping or clothes shopping. So the internet is that it's, um, we're having a lot of people say it's, it's very slow because we're all doing things that we on the internet that we didn't do 12 months ago. So we'll all get there in the end as long as you get to enjoy it. And when in doubt, like I said, pick up the phone. We would love to talk to you. And when, when the doors are open, as Michelle said, bring your device in and we'll get you um, up and running. And I think Michelle's brought up this other wonderful thing, which is the knock and drop that uh, the library is doing. So. Yes, this is this is brilliant. So also the book bundle, the book bundle is what I'm I'm part of at the moment. The knock and drop is for us to slow down a little bit, but the book bundle for adults is what St Ives Library is doing at the moment, um, and it's 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 really fun because it's a lot of people are putting their particular authors or their genres. And some are just writing lucky dip. And so it's making um, us as librarians and library staff have to think. Really do, you to do, you to, do you want to explain how those both work? Sure. So, book, so we'll, we'll do book bundles first. Is how Michelle's just clicked it. It's on our webpage. And it's just asking you to fill in your library details, which is the library card, your name, your address to make sure that you're in our um, government area. Down the bottom, what does it, Michelle? It's got delivery instructions. We just ask you to be as particular as you can because it's the council rangers will be delivering the books for us. And so if you've got to have um, behind the pot plant on the front door, put behind the pot plant on the front door. Um, as specific as you can, it's really good for us to know. And then we write this down for the rangers. Then you can list what you want, large print books, magazines, DVDs, audio, graphic novels, whatever you um, like. There's a limit of five books. You'll have eight weeks for those five books to enjoy those five, those five books. At the end of the eight weeks, we ask that you return the books to any of the four after hours shoots. If you don't want to leave home while we're still in lockdown, that's fine. They'll automatically be renewed for as long as we're in lockdown. We've just got this automatic renewal system happening so people don't have to return books if they don't want to leave. Um, you can also, if you do return the books, you can automatically put in a request for another book bundle of five books. We have it on offer for both junior fiction and picture books. Uh, we have book bundles for adults and we have book bundles for HSE students. The book bundles are for the children um, are in high demand at the moment. I know they're up to 100 requests. Uh, the book bundle requests for adults, we're up to, I think, 65. So it's, it's fun. For knock and, and can... drop, sorry. I was just sorry, I was just gonna say you can reserve as normal. <laughs> yeah. So so knock and drop is just the placing a reservation how you've done before. And they'll also be delivered by the council rangers. You can reserve up to five items. Um, we'll confirm that you're that you are aware of the knock and drop terms and conditions. You'll give us a safe place for it to be left as well, and you'll also get eight weeks for the loan period as well. It's just a way of a, a collaboration with the uh, council rangers to get books out to our patrons who are stuck at home. And it is just it's it's such a joy that, that every time we ring someone to say, we've got reservations here, would you like them delivered? The staff feel like they're Santa Claus because they just, <laughs> it is just beautiful <laughs> feedback that we're getting, so yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's a great, a great thing to be doing. Yes. So, a lot of people would love that one. Sure, yeah. So yeah, so that's the things we offer for our um, patrons. So yeah, all good. Yeah. And hopefully we'll be able to be having this conversation in person soon. That's our goal. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, so okay, Michelle's well, just giving thanks. us some um, information about our events as well. Yeah. This is a new I'm thing too. You can have the book club. Okay, please go. Yep, go for it. 
I was just going to say we've been we're starting an online book club if anyone's interested we're going to have a go and our first mm. book is actually from Indie Reads we've done um, so we've chosen from Indie Reads because we can all download the book and read it and it's uh, Melissa and um, I can't say her name Lukashenko and it's too much um, lit so if anyone's interested it would be lovely to see you online and join our book club so yeah have a little look at that see if you're on the website. And is that on a certain day of the, at a certain time? Is the book club on a certain time? Is that how you work? So this one's going to be on the 26th of October. It'll be at 6.30 in the evening. And it'll just be via Zoom. Yeah. So just a nice discussion yeah. about the book, discussion questions, and basically what we want to read next and where we want to go with the book club. And, yeah, we can miss book clubs. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that's really is good. there a website to um, join the book club absolutely it's on the council website if you look at um, events or go to the library website and look at library events as well it's there so you can see your event um here's the scams is there and so we've got ours there as do you well. want to just go back to do you want to just go back to yeah, yeah. if Wait, i go to the queen guy yes. library web page thank okay. you sure. thank you you're all right so this is the queen guy library web page and if i just scroll down we can see here library events and we just click library events. Actually, we can see everything on there as well, which is nice. Yep, it's a nice yep, page to page. start with. Yep. And then if we just scroll down, scroll down, there we have it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Michelle. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's good. Well, we, might, we might wrap it up. So that was absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Um, great. Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, thank you, Robin. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. No, thanks, everyone, for coming. Thank you very much. And Michelle, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Go have, have a play and let us know how you go. Thank you. Yeah. And lo lots of um, messages in the chat saying it thanks for a fantastic it. session. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, oh, oh, thank you for Robin. Michelle for being my off-sider. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Much appreciated again, Robin. Thank you. Uh, pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's good. It's great to. Uh, bye, everybody. And, Thank you. Uh, bye. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Robin. It was fun. Uh, yeah, great. Thank I'll go have a coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you. You deserve it. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thank bye. you. Bye. Thanks again, Michelle. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Okay. We're good.